my friends, this is the Ken, and once again, I just can't stop praising his name. But I believe I have a word for you today. And of course, let's just start with some praise and worship. Let's just enter into the presence of God. Yes, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Yeah. 
choice. Rise up and praise you, Lord of God. We choose to give you thanks and praises today. You're an awesome God, a wonderful God and King. Jesus, we trust in you. And we're just going to praise you and magnify your name and give you all the honor and glory. That's to your name. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. I have a word from the Lord. I was led to this reading today. And um, it's from Second Chronicles chapter 20. I would like you to read the whole chapter to get a full context of what, what I'm saying here. I'll just take certain verses from that whole chapter and, and just to show that we can apply today in this battle that we are facing. Amen? So from verse number 9 says, If when evil come upon us as the sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence and cry unto you in our affliction, then you will hear and help us, Lord. Thus says the Lord to you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. You will not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. Fear not, nor be dismayed, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall he prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of his holiness. As they went out before the army singing, give thanks to the Lord our God for his love endures forever. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against the enemies. Hallelujah. Come on. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against the enemies. My brothers and sisters, I believe that's the antidote and the cure for the coronavirus. If we will just humble ourselves, stand still before God, and just offer a praise and thanksgiving unto him. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love and joy forever. We'll see the, 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 this whole disease, this whole pandemic disappear before the almighty God. So I encourage you, stand up, rise up. I'm just doing what I do at prayer meetings, you know, where you got to take your tambourine and your shack shack and whatever, and your hands and clap, and um, just join me in praising. This is not a concert. This is just to enjoy the beauty of the presence of God. So join me, and let's sing this. Yeah. 
endured forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So this is a call to worship. This is the antidote for this virus. Yes, praise our God. Hallelujah. Praise God.
And during this time, you know, we just got to praise him. Just got to praise him. That's the antidote. That's that's the virus. That's the vaccine. Praise unto the God Most High. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you know who you are? If you know who you are, you just stand on the promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>
Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, come on, blessed be the rock of my salvation. I've got that joy, 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 joy. Something is wrong. That means you're not praising God with us. Amen. Let's just praise him. Praise him. Praise him. He's worthy of our praise. And I just want to end up this session with some more praise. Some more Caribbean praise music. Just move your feet. Lift your hands. Dance. See if you take your eyes off of the problem and put it on our God. That'll be the, that'll be the solution right there. You know. So don't, don't go to God and complain how big this coronavirus problem is. Now turn to that coronavirus and in the name of Jesus, tell that verse how big our God is. Amen. Hallelujah. So he's worthy of praise. Come on, let's give him a little more praise. Praise him. Come on. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noontime. Praise him. Jesus! 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the morning, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. This little of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.
worship you. We adore you, Lord. You're a mighty God. You're awesome, God. Wonderful God of King. How great are you, Lord? How great is your mercy? How great are things you've done for us, Lord? We just want to celebrate your goodness, Lord. In the midst of this chaos, Lord, God, we're going to find peace in it. The back of the boat, sleeping with you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust in you. We trust in you, Lord. We trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, that's praising God. Hallelujah. All right, we'll do one more because I want you to walk away with this, feel enriched, empowered. And we always say in good Catholic Christian circles, we always say, God is good. And everybody responds all the time. And then we say, all the time. And we say, God is good. And that's true. I'm asking you today. In the midst of all of this, can you stand on your feet, lift your hands up and say, God is good all the time. And all the time, my God is good. Because if you do that in these times, then you're serious. Amen? You can't just say that when things are nice with you and everything is going good. All the time. This is a time. This is time. This is part of time. So if God is good in, you know, in the mountaintops, he's got to be good in the valley too. Amen? Hallelujah. So I want to sing this song as we close up tonight. I hope you're blessed. I hope you just want to continue praising God. All right? Um, but just sing with me. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus, you're good all the time. God is good. sound of praise in this heart of mine. God is good, God is good, all the time, all the time, through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good, God is good. God is good. God is good. All the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. In the darkest night, this light will shine.
Sisters, just remember God is good all the time, and this is a time, and we were created for such a time as this, amen. So let's continue to bless Him. I remember the word for today is from 2 Chronicles 20. So I encourage you to read that whole chapter, 2 Chronicles, it's in the Old Testament, and read the whole chapter 20. It talks about the battle and Jehoshaphat, and but the parts that I picked out was just, just for a time like this. You know, just believe in the prophets and we'll be established, we'll be we'll prosper. But calling all singers, praisers, worshippers, because everyone baptized with the Holy Ghost, you automatically are singing a praiser. So we are the front lines. We are the true front lines, spiritually we're talking about here. You know, so let's just sing before the Lord and, and we'll see the armies dissipate. We'll see the enemy dissipate. That's a promise from, from God. Amen. So we'll just leave you with God is good all the time. And this is time. So we just believe that our God is a great God. God bless you guys. Until I see you again, until the Spirit moves me again to do another one. Remember, if you receive it, be blessed, but share it around. All right, but this time, we need to hear God's praises. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all.